Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for this day, Monday, June 15th. I'm Dan Gutman, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Lima, Ohio, and I'm so glad that you're here now. Let us begin. In 1955, 29 people were arrested in New York City for refusing to participate in a civil defense drill requiring all citizens to take shelter from a simulated nuclear attack. We refuse to take part in the war maneuvers, if you can call them that, wrote Dorothy Day, who was among the pacifist resistors. Civil defense drills were discontinued six years later when the annual protest in City Hall Park drew a crowd of thousands. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Lord, you have been our dwelling place through every generation. A reading from Psalm 78. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times, that which we have heard and known, and what our forefathers have told us we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works he has done. O Lord, you have been our dwelling place through every generation. Ignatius of Antioch said, Take heed, then, to come together often to give thanks to God and show his praise. For when you come frequently together in the same place, the powers of Satan are destroyed and his fiery darts of sin fall back worthless. For your unity and harmonious faith prove his destruction and the torment of his assistance. Nothing is better than Christ's peace, by which all war, both of heavenly and earthly spirits, is brought to an end. We join me now in praying together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God, set our hearts on you alone, that we might not be distracted by the schemes of the devil, but race on with all of our being to receive the gift of life that never ends. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Thanks so much for being here with me this morning. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.